Sales sequences help sellers reach positive outcomes by following your sales processes and best practices. Working with Sales Accelerator helps provide sellers with clarity by recommending the next action for their assigned leads, accounts, contacts and opportunities. It also helps achieve greater consistency with a refined sales process and quickly send emails or be prompted to take specific actions such as phone calls. In the form view itself, we also have the option to mark complete, send an email, or assign, snooze, or skip the step. We can also add a note. By selecting the link at the top, we have a preview of all the steps in the sequence. We can toggle the different branches available to us and scroll down to the end of the sequence flow. If we select About Sequence, we can see the overall description and see the list of maximum steps for this sequence. Sellers can also use the filter and sort options to manage their lead workload. On your screen, you can see we can filter by the due date, record type and activity type. This empowers sellers to prioritise and organise their work process and focus on the most important records first. We also have the sort option which allows us to show which records should show first, such as score, name or due date. Let's examine the process for sales administrators who may be responsible for creating the sequence process steps for sellers to use in Sales Accelerator. When you create a sequence, you define the activities you want your sellers to perform and the order to perform them as they handle records. This guidance lets sellers concentrate on selling and gives them a better understanding of what to do next. Sales administrators can add tiles such as sending automated emails with an attached template. We can also add tiles such as a wait timer, which are configurable. We can branch the sequence based on the conditional rules. For example, using the advanced phone condition, the steps will change depending on if the phone call was made or received. We can also add conditional branches based on updating field values. In this example, we've took the decision for the prospect to advance when the lead grade is set at A. This indicates that they are responsive for engagement and therefore the seller should send them an email next. There are plenty of other field value choices to pick from, such as decision maker, job title, lead source, and other standard dynamics lead fields. In this next example, we'll configure this by budget and have set the prospect to advance when it's set to may buy. Another option available to us is to update fields as a next step in the sequence. This is useful for enabling sellers to quickly update records based on a standard process. This is much more efficient and methodical compared with manually navigating through lead records at different stages of the sales cycle. In this instance, we've decided to pick the sales ready field to update. This might be useful after a conversation with the prospect and allow other people such as sellers or marketers to understand that they are now ready for making the next step to purchase a product or service from your business. The Sequence Designer also integrates natively with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. The tile options available to us are complete the research, informing the seller they need to understand the prospect or account they're engaging with. We can also add an introduction option for making the initial step. We can also create prompts for getting connected and sending a LinkedIn email. We're able to complete a description on the right hand panel to provide further context to the seller. Supporting sellers to organise their workload, not just through emails and phone calls, but also prompting them to take action on LinkedIn, enhances their ability to engage with prospects and help them to convert to buyers. 
Let's explore the different ways dynamic cells allows us to connect records to sequences. When navigating to a lead record, selecting the sequence dropdown on the command menu provides the seller with the option to connect the lead to active sequences. Each sequence has a preview of the steps on the right hand side, providing a deeper understanding of the journey the prospect will go on. When we have chosen the sequence, we can quickly attach the record to it. We can even connect records to multiple sequences at the same time. Useful for businesses who have complex sales cycles and businesses offering a wide variety of products and services. From the sales form, we can also assign sequences to other people using dynamic sales. You simply need to navigate to the command bar, choose the sequence from the menu as we illustrated before, then finally search for a different user in your system. When you have picked a person to assign the sequence to, select the assign button. We can also connect records to sequences in the sales accelerator admin error. When servicing the lead connecting the interface, we can select by bulk allowing administrators to quickly add many leads at once. When records have been added, we're provided with contextual information, such as the owner, how long they've been on the sequence, and the current step they are in the process. We can also add records to sequences in bulk using set criteria with segments. Choose from field values such as status, lead grade, or source campaign to collect records in your system that meet these parameters. You can simulate the results to get an understanding of how many records will be inside a segment. This is a powerful tool and using segments as the approach to connecting records to sequences can help you streamline the sales process and improve consistency. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the exit criteria for sequences. Sequences will end when any endpoint in the flow is reached, but an exit criteria can also be added based on email engagement in response to messages sent in a sequence. You can do this by navigating to the exit criteria option on the command bar. Opening this panel provides a toggle option to disconnect records on a sequence when a customer replies to any email in one of these steps. Businesses have diverse sales processes and strategies so it's useful that Dynamic Sales offers flexibility to control this option. Sales sequences are an effective way to increase consistency by giving sellers a defined order of actions they should perform on leads and other records. By connecting activities and other actions into sequences that reflect frequent sales scenarios, sellers have a better understanding of what needs to happen next so they can consistently progress deals and prospects in line with your processes and best practices. If you're interested in learning more about sales sequences for Dynamics 365 and how this feature can be configured for your organization, please get in touch and don't forget to subscribe to the Services YouTube channel for more updates about Dynamics and the Microsoft Power Platform.